guys, it's Sadie and welcome back to another waitressing vlog. It's currently 5.50 p.m. Feeling a little bit fresh. I haven't done my makeup yet. And I'm getting ready to go to a waitressing in Brisbane tonight. I'm going to be doing from 7.30 to 9.30 topless. And I'm pretty sure it's not a pokey deal. No, I think it's just a regular booking. I'm pretty sure it's just a regular booking tonight. I am extension free at the moment. Had them in for my content shoot on Wednesday and I did some on Thursday. Just really loving feeling like <laughs> just being able to go like that through my hair is really nice. I'm thinking about just straightening it or even like using the old crimpy wand because I know that will be really quick with just my natural hair and not my extensions. We'll see. I'm going to be rocking the same set that I wore last week because I am still feeling really bloated. I'm pretty sure my period is coming on. I just know that that set that I wore was really, really, really figure hugging here in this region. Wait, was that recording? Okay, we're back. And yes, I was recording. So I don't have any other bookings in this weekend. Unfortunately, I tried to get some for tomorrow night, but it's not that they weren't coming through. I was applying for pretty much like almost everyone that I came across it's kind of hard like because with our with our job page bookings come through and sometimes I might miss it and then I'll apply several hours later and they've already been filled and sometimes a lot of the agents or the bookies will message back and say hey like this has already been filled please don't apply anymore like or they'll say like no more girls like please stop applying because there's just so many girls like applying for the one um for the one booking yeah normally sometimes I don't bother like if I haven't seen it for like four or five hours I just assume it's already been filled usually if it hasn't that same booker or the person organizing it will message you out like maybe like an hour or two later and say any more options for this or something like that so that's what I'll do normally but yeah I applied for all the ones that I came across for Saturday didn't get anything but yeah what can you do I'm hoping that maybe something comes through tomorrow night at the last minute if not i'm not too stressed as i have like my side hustle gig as well at the moment and also i have of payments coming through as well so i'm not going to stress too much but it would be nice to put some savings in the bank per se finished up with my content filming day on wednesday did it all i got there on wednesday and then i finished up on thursday morning when i had to check out at 10 i'm so proud i honestly didn't think i got as many looks as i did because i don't know why i was just aiming for like 20 looks i forgot that um last time i did 20 looks was when i had a book like a airbnb booked for two nights I forgot that like i was like oh my god well i did 20 looks last time you know, what I re didn't realize was that I also had that Airbnb for two nights, not one. I really just f***ing killed myself. Like I, just, I smashed it. Like I stayed up until like 4.45 in the morning. I took a break in between. I did a live, my very first live on OF. Went really well. I was so happy. I got to see some of my favorite members. Bestie Scarlet popped on to say hey. She was kind of cute. She was like egging people on going, tip her, like do this send her some money so she can do stuff because like you have like a little tip menu and I'll, I will say like I'll do this for this much or I'll do this for this much sort of thing. So it looked kind of cute and then once like the ball got rolling she kind of like was like okay I'm gonna leave you to it. Went really well. I was only on for an hour and a half and then yeah just did like a little bit of a show for my members and then took a shower afterwards and filmed the shower as well. So that was kind of cute. I feel like that was like a really good experience for my first my first ever live so that was cool and yeah i just got straight back into it i had some dinner and got straight back into filming all until 4 45 a.m i went to bed didn't get up until around 8 a.m i had about two hours to just cram in like a couple more looks which i'm really i'm really happy that i did because there was some really cute costumes in there that i really was like they've just been like sitting up on this rack like waiting just waiting to be worn i finished up with i think around 13 looks give or take and I thought that was pretty pretty impressive considering like I didn't realize until afterwards that that other place I booked for two nights and I was like oh my god I need to do 20 looks I need to do 20 looks but I was like wait like what I crammed in was like heaps for one night so I probably could have taken it a little bit easier than I did but that said I've already started scheduling content and I'm more than confident that I will have enough for the next like this month for March April and May so killing it i'm gonna start getting ready it is ooh, it's getting on um it's five to six now and i need to leave around 6 30 or just before hopefully i started till 7 30 but there's always this weird traffic going up to brisbane i said i don't have my extensions in so i don't really need to stress too much about my hair i just need to straighten it or use the wandy thing if i run out of time i'll just straighten it i'm about to go do my makeup and i will catch up with you when we get in the car be good I will build my 
It is 7.33, I just got a park. I just called the clients off a private number while I was on my way here, just to let them know there was a minor delay on the motorway. There was a car accident. What the hell is that? Oh, it's like one of those sensor light car parks. That's random. Anyway, so I just called him to let him know there was a little bit of a delay. I might be 10 minutes late. I just got a park really easy. And yeah, I'm about to hop in the lift and quickly dart across the road and go see the client. See you guys soon. stays at the box party. Ooh, hey guys, how are we going sitting there? Is that all good? Okay. So, I better do this quickly before I run out of, um, Battery. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, why is my phone so slow? Okay, I'm just gonna have that sitting there loading while I talk to you guys. So, I got upstairs and the organizers seemed really nice when I came into the elevator. Everyone was like super lovely and then we got inside and I just remembered like Meriton rooms are really small unless you book like the really fancy ones upstairs. I've only been booked for the penthouse one maybe once um, and it was like a really wealthy group of doctors and dentists and stuff like that. This time it was like booked by I think there was about 16 or 17. All Aussie guys, like footy, sort of like bogan. So like some were kind of like respectful. It was like a big mix, but you could tell they were all really like super bogan. <laughs> I love, I love that in a group of guys because that means I can connect with them better because I find myself to be quite bogan. A bit, how's it going, you know? I got in there. I was just a little bit intimidated when I walked in because there was such a big group and it was just, I said, oh, is my wing lady here already? Or he goes, no, 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 no. Like it's just the guys. There's no ladies there. I'm like, I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, is there another waitress that's already arrived? Or I was like, am I, or am I doing it solo? And he was like, no, 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 it's just yourself. And I was just like, ah, like normally the rule of thumb is like one girl per 10 guys for safety reasons. I have like done a few where it's like been like 11 or 12 and I'm like, okay with that. But like, this was like 16 dudes and I'm like, okay, there's a lot. There was a lot, like there was a lot of guys, like, you know, so like if shit were to go pear shaped, like it could have, you know, I wouldn't have had any, like anyone to back me up or at least like another waitress there to like kind of you know stick up for me but they ended up turning out to be really good like they were a little they were a little bit and some of them were falling over themselves some of them kept trying to like come up to me and like grab my arm 
and Sticky's, I kept trying to stick his face in my lady garden. It's like, babe, do it again. And I'm going like, cause it was just getting like too full on. Just really, his behavior was really erratic and unpredictable. I would be like bending over to get drinks or like I'd be turning my, with my back face, talking to someone else, having a conversation. And he would just be straight up like behind me already, like doing something behind me. Like, I don't know whether he'd be trying to slap my ass or I don't know. He was just, his behavior was very erratic and not predictable at all. So I constantly had to have like my side eye on him. But other than that, like the other guys were really well behaved. Like they weren't perfect. They were sh faced, you know, let's just put it that way. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. So we got there and some of them were watching the footy and then a small group of guys wanted to play, um, gravy train which i think i have pay played before in the past but i just couldn't remember how to play it and then we started doing it and oh the car park's doing that thing again with the sensor lights we started doing it and it was actually really fun play gravy train and then after that one of the guys came up to me and he's like an hour's gone and he was like hey remember you told me about getting nude and he goes D is that still available like what's the go like yep it's just this much and he was like all right boys let's get it together I wasn't expecting it. I was going to hustle myself. But he just went, no, nah, let's go. And he flipped his hat off his sweaty little head. And he just went, everyone chuck in now. Sadie's going to get naked. And he's like, there's no show or anything like that. You're just like doing what you're doing. And I was like, yep, just doing what I'm doing. Just completely naked. And then he was just like, done. Here you go. And I was just like, wow. Like, I didn't have to do anything. Like, I just thought it was really nice. I went in and counted the money. And I was like, oh, we're five short. And he goes, five dollars, five dollars. And someone quickly pulled out five and he was just like here you go another round of gravy train but i stood at the table and served drinks instead of sitting and then the guys were asking me about a lap dance for the buck and he was pretty intoxicated by this age i'm gonna say because they started drinking at 10 a.m yesterday and they haven't slept yet other organized the money for the lap dance we went into the room and i had to kick a bunch of guys out because they were doing extracurriculum activities and i was just like look you can take the plate with you I just need this room here, just me and him. And one of them was like, I'm going to sit here and watch. And I'm like, not unless you're going to pay this much amount too. And he goes, what, just to watch? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you don't get the free show. Like, it's just me and him. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. And he was just like, oh, okay. He's like, okay, cool. And he got out. The buck didn't seem too interested in getting a lap dance from me. He was like, I don't care about the dance. I just want to hang out with you guys. And then once I got in there, I was like, okay, these are the rules. Touch these. You can touch this. You can't touch her. Keep your tongue in your mouth. Be gentle. Like, just be gentle. Be respectful. And I'll be respectful to you. And then once I started the dance, he was like, holy sh**. And I think whatever the f he was on either just hit him and he peaked as i was doing the lap dance or whether my lap dance was that good i just didn't know about it i don't know i'm not here to judge i think i'm pretty good you know but it also looked like he was peaking and he was just like holy f this is amazing literally from that moment he was just infatuated with my boobies and the just the the motion that he was touching them <laughs> <laughs> he was cooked. He was off his head. And I went, turn around, did my little twerky twerk, my little like side moves over him. And he was just like, holy sh. And then he didn't get up. He was just laying there. And I'm like, do you need a minute? And he was just like, yeah, I'll meet you out there. And he didn't get up for like ages and thinking like whatever he was on had just hit him and he was just like, I can't move. I was like, all right, boys, he's all yours. And they all went in there and they grabbed him and they carried him out and sat him up on the lounge and everything. It was just hilarious. And I was just like, okay, cool. Like what's next, you know, thinking like I'll try and sort out some motorboats. And before I even got the words out of my mouth, old mate with the curly sweaty hair, he was one of the older blokes. He had like a mustache and he had like sweaty hair and he kept flipping his hat off to collect money. And he just had beads of sweat just going down his forehead. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not here to judge. This man is collecting money for me. And ha I haven't had to ask anyone to sort out money tonight. So I'm like, I'm grateful for this man. He's so amazing. And his manners was, he was so well behaved towards me. He was just so like, please and thank you. Yes, Sadie. Thank you, Sadie. And I was just like, oh my God, like, where did you guys come from? You're amazing. Amazing. He was just like, okay, how much to do a motorboat for him and him? And I was like, it's this much. And he was just like, here, let's do it. Let's, you know. And he goes, can you slap him extra hard with your titties? And I'm like, done, you know? And then he was like, sort him out, sort him out. And I was just like, sweet. But all night, I was just collecting like little bits here and there. And it was just, it was just great. Like the guys were hilarious. Like every time I turn around, someone had their pants off though. Like, but they were in their jocks and they were just like doing some sort of like grind or something like that. And then I was just like, oh my God. And then towards the end, I was just like, oh my God, this is just too much. Everyone was just getting really face and I was like you know what and they were like how much to stay another hour and I was like it's this much and they were like "Ooh, we don't know if we got that and I was just looking at the buck and I was looking at everyone else and I was just like you know what they're done like they are absolutely sh faced and if I see old mate come up behind me one more time like just like I'm probably gonna leave anyway and then one of the guys was like that's fair enough
you've done well. Like, you've done fucking amazing. Like, considering you're one woman and we're, big, we're a big group of guys, I was just like, yeah, I think I've done pretty well. Like, I've gotten around, gotten everyone drinks the whole time, entertained the whole group. I was twerking in front of the guys. I was giving motorboats, gave the buck a lap dance, got naked, played gravy train. Like, we're doing great. Like, I just felt like, you know, considering the chaos that was happening, the guys were pouring straight drinks all over the bucks back. Like, there was just, they were being absolute animals, but respecting me. That makes sense. Like, they were like, let's be but nobody it's Sadie. No one do anything. No one throw ice at her. No one pour drinks on her. Like, you know, just make sure she's out of the way. Like, it was absolute chaos, but it was great. Oh, the best part, the best part towards the end. I went to go get changed, and they were like, Sadie, before you go, we want to give you something. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. And the guy who booked me goes, they were all like, you know, he used to be a dancer. And I was like, really? Like, no, no, sh like really and he's like yeah and he goes i want to give you a lap dance and i was like oh no 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 like because i've had this before and guys go we're gonna give you a lap dance and it's all just for sh and giggles and they're not professional dancers and i've actually had a guy jump on me sitting on a chair and just fall like fall on me because he was so drunk and he like hit me in the head with his elbow and my head hit the floor so hard because the chair went right back i was like okay like yep that's enough like i'm going i have had Many lap dances from many confident gentlemen over my time. Just, you've you always got your guard up no matter what, like safety-wise. Just wondering, like, even even if men don't mean to and they, they're just trying to do something funny, I realize how much bigger and heavier they are than you. How much stronger they are and how much they could hurt you by accident. Just by falling on top of you because they're drunk or they've slipped over or they tripped up someone else's foot or something like that, you know? Yeah, so I've always got that in the back of my mind, um, thinking about that sort of stuff. Even if they're the nicest of guys, accidents happen. So you've just got to always think about your safety. Um, so I was just like immediately like, no. But he said to me, he's like, no, dead all seriousness. I actually used to be a dancer. He said, I used to do shows. And he goes, I can't anymore. I've injured my knee. And he goes, but I'm actually, I do dance teaching now. And I was just like, are you being like dead serious? He goes, no, I'm, I'm being, he's like, I'm being dead serious. Like, I'm a dance teacher. And I was like, okay. I was like, but if any funny shit happens like i'm getting up and going and he's like okay no word of a lie like this man was not ripped by any means had no muscle here with all jiggles going along here but holy f could he move i was like what the f you're really good i was like oh my god and he was like full dancing and then he turned around and faced away from me and started doing like the caterpillar on the floor and he did like some weird back bend move and i was like i don't know what to do with my hands right now if, if i had money like <laughs> oh, no, 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 not the money. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, the seat. Oh, God. Why did I do that? Why am I like this? Why? Okay. No, I think I got it. I think I got all the money. I'm not doing that again. Literally, I was like... <laughs> he was so good. I was like, what the f***? Better make this quick, but we'll do a money count. So, for three hours topless waitressing... Wait, it was two hours originally and I extended. So, for two hours topless waitressing... Plus I extended nude, plus I did a lap dance, plus I did quite a few motorboats. I made 100, sorry I have them in the biggest just stack all over the place on my lap. 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, Six hundred, six twenty, six forty, six sixty, six eighty, seven hundred, seven twenty, seven forty, seven sixty, seven seventy. 780. I don't know what the f that's from. I think that might have just been floating around in my purse. I'm not going to count that in. How much should I say? 780. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60. 78 yeah so 780 dollars oh so i could have been like one more motorboat away from 800 dollars 
That's insane, right? That's insane. Like this, this and last week's vlog just goes to show like if you have a good character and a good attitude about you, you can make any sort of money on a booking. Like you don't need to work all hours of the night. You just have to hustle right and don't like be pushy about it. Like have have some wit and be cute and like, you know, real sassy about it. Like because that's the way I make most of my money. Like I'll be like, oh, it's this much. And I'll be like, oh, well, how come you don't do this? And I'm like, because I'm a badass and i have confidence when i do it you can't be shy about asking for money in this line of work like you just have to be super confident otherwise people aren't going to hand it over to you they're going to be like okay well if she's not confident selling herself why should i give it to her like that's what goes through their minds even when they're sober like you're always going to get hustled back tenfold you're always going to get hustled back tenfold if you don't project confidence it's it's actually a miracle that I made that. I'm really stoked with that considering I only have one booking this weekend. Thank you so much for coming along with me for this vlog, guys. I really appreciate how you guys have been supporting my channel. I really appreciate all the messages that you guys send me, even the ones on Instagram messaging me saying, when are you going to put another vlog out? Like, I just, it makes me so happy. It honestly, genuinely makes me so happy because I didn't see anything like this on the internet when I first started waitressing 12 years ago. And I wish that I had like just something to go off so that I knew what to expect when I walked in those doors the first night that I started waitressing. Make sure you guys check out all my other waitressing vlogs. I also do BTS content for OnlyFans, so go check out those in my playlist. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in my next vlog.